Hi everyone, welcome, my name is Emily. Today's DIY is going to be whitewashing or German smearing this red brick in our home. I am really excited to show you guys how you can do this very inexpensively. The first item you're going to want is white mortar. Make sure you buy white, $15 for which I thought was still a good deal. Next thing you're going to want is a bucket to mix the mortar in with the water. The consistency you are looking for is a ground honey to a thick um, pancake batter and that will work really well. You want it to stick to the spoon a little bit but still fall off at the same time. Hopefully that makes sense. You're going to want a sponge that way you can wet down the brick um, to start with and then also wipe down the brick at the end. Waterproof gloves in the garden area and I'm going to be using those to apply some of the uh, mortar or you could use um, a tile trowel or um, a spatula whatever you need to do that with or you can even apply it with the sponge if you wanted to. Here are all the supplies I am going to use, so let's go ahead and get started. I started by just getting my sponge wet and then wiping down the bricks um, in the area that I would be working in. Or if you didn't want to do that, you could use a small spray bottle or if you are outside doing the outside of your home, just go ahead and use the hose. Then I just took um, big chunks of it in my hand and went ahead and started rubbing that onto the brick, trying more focusing on the grout lines because I wanted my grout lines not to be so pronounced so I wanted to fill those in a bit more. I also tried using just a Ziploc bag, cutting off the tip of it and using it as like a piping uh, system and that worked fairly well too for a lot of the spaces just because my grout lines were really deep and I wanted that to be um, not as pronounced. And then I just took my fingers and kind of rubbed that in, pressing that into all of the areas. Then I just went ahead and just, you know, went across all of the uh, grout lines, making sure everything was rubbed in and good. I added a little bit more water if something was maybe a little bit dried out. Then I started scraping off the areas that I wanted because it will dry white and I wanted part of the red brick to show through so it had more of a, uh, more of a, maybe like a Tuscan feel to it and a little bit old looking. Then I just went ahead and took my hand and started rubbing around everything, getting off any um, extra parts and then I again I took the sponge and it repeated the same thing. It was damp and so I could wipe off more of the mortar as I went and you, here you can see it starting to dry a little bit and uh, I kind of worked my way down and part of the evening and that is what I ended up doing. Here after I finished it, after it had dried, I ended up having a little bit too much mortar onto the brick so I just used a um, scraper tool just to scrape off some of it and it came off fairly easy and I just went ahead and exposed more. If you end up taking off too much you can always apply more mortar it's not gonna ruin anything and it just kind of went and scraped away. And once I got to the bottom of my bricks um, they were really shallow grout lines so I just used a paint stick and just kind of applied that into the area and then used the trowel to kind of spread it and get into the cracks in the corners and then spread that out and then I just went ahead and started scraping it up the same way I did before. It's really an easy system. You can wipe off more with the sponge or scrape it off with the trowel, whatever works. Um, just know that it will dry whiter than it looks when you're applying it. I found using my hands too was fairly simple. This took me about four hours in total to do the whole brick area. Now it is an eight by eight section, so quite a bit to work with between cleanup and everything, but I found it really easy, just vacuumed up the crumbs once everything was finished. But this is the before, very, very red. It was still nice, but I was ready for a change. And I could not be happier with the final result for four hours of my time and $20. I wish I would have done this years ago. I love how old and rustic it looks with a little bit of an Italian flair to it. It is just beautiful. So if you have any hesitation on whether or not you were thinking about whitewashing your brick, hopefully that has cleared up any doubt you have because it turned out wonderful and it was super easy to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this type of video because tomorrow I am going to be showing you how to make this floating mantle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon.